It is, uh, oh frick, what day is it? <laughs> it's, it's Friday, it, May 20th. Friday, May 20th, and we, as you can see, uh, Steel Venom and Wild Band in the background. I mean, that only can mean one thing. We're at Valley Fair today with Uncle David. You might recognize him from the Cedar Point vlog. Anyways, this is David. Hey, uh, how you guys doing? Mind your business, David! Bit, bit. Yeah, it's been a while since we've been. I, actually, I was here last week on preview day. I didn't vlog that because I like no friends to come with me on that one. Actually, no, I hanged out with Kyle and Renee. If you're watching this video, I didn't forget you. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, last week Steel Venom was not actually open because um, since uh, Wicked Twister closed at Cedar Point, they're putting the launch system and the control booth on Steel Venom. So that's the main reason why it wasn't open last, uh, last week. But it's open now. And we're gonna ride that for the first time in, I wanna say a year? Yeah. No, a year for him. He a year has, for me. Yeah, he hasn't been here since like June, so it's basically just been a year. <laughs> All right, so I think Steve and I just broke down. Again. Again. <laughs> this happened last opening weekend. I think last opening weekend, it also broke down like the first few hours. So this is not anything new, I promise. <laughs> I miss the Venom so much. <laughs> Such a classic. The whole, the whole brick just hits every time. It's just so fun. But it like broke down twice when we were waiting in, like in line. Like <laughs> there's like one cycle where like it passed by like six like I don't know six times. Yeah, it's like, constant. Yeah, I was like, it's just gonna stop. <laughs> but it did, and you know, at the end of the day, we got our rides in. So yeah. fun, so fun. We were hoping that you know we get the ones where it like just kept going, but. We no, out. no. Ride. <laughs> Just our luck, man. We, we never get that stuff, you know? <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I think we're gonna hit up uh, Wild Thing next, which, fun fact, when I was here last weekend on preview weekend, the hold brakes, oh no, sorry, the trim brakes were not trimming as like as hard as they usually do. So I actually got airtime on the bunny hills before the station. So hopefully it's still like that, but you know, you never know. It's hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. We rode a wild thing, and as for the trims, they were hitting a little harder than last week, but there was still airtime on those bunny hills. It's much better la than it was last year. Last year, this thing sucks, but this year, <laughs> this is like probably my number two in the park. So I love wild thing. This guy does not have the Mad Mouse credit. <laughs> so we're, we're gonna go ride Mad Mouse just for the credit. You know I already have it, but yeah. just pray for us, okay? I'm, I'm sacrificing my time for, for you, David. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Mad Mouse is closed, so you're so lucky. I'm you're so, so lucky. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> like, I, I really yeah, want like, it. what are we going to do with this thing closed? <laughs> we can't make fun of it now. I know. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so we got two rides in our Renegade, which is awesome because the line is super long. I don't know if you can see it behind me, but it's, yeah, it's crazy. It's probably the busiest day so far this season, even though it's like, it's opening day, yeah, but I mean, yeah. you get my point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> long lines, but we got fast lanes, so we love Renegade, we do. It, it could maybe use a little retracting, I think. Like, it's been rough, like, it's been a little rough, you know? It's not like painful, okay. but like, it's just, yeah, it's just like, I've been on a smoother wooden coaster, so I guess I'm a little bit spoiled, but yeah, but it's still a good ride. Just <laughs> All right, so we're gonna check out Corkscrew next. You, you guys know Corkscrew, right? It's been here for 40 years, and somehow it's the only roller coaster at Valley Fair to have inversions. That's kind of sad. You know what else is sad? Corkscrew here is better than Corkscrew at Cedar Point. That's true. Facts. You can't, you can't argue with that because... We know we're right, okay? <laughs> like, we don't hate you if you do think that way, but we just know that, we just, like, we just know that we're right, so... Exactly. <laughs> it's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> So corkscrew is ridden, and yeah, it's it's corkscrew, you know. Yeah, it's, it's corkscrew. It, it's you know not too long, definitely not too long, and not too rough. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just so short, so short, but it's still fun. It's enjoyable. I like the setting. The color scheme is pretty nice, even though I like the blue better than the orange. But anyways, we're gonna go check out uh, probably extreme uh, swing. Sure. Well, extreme swing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have a question for God. Why? Right? <laughs> I'm in, like really lazy with vlogging right now, but <laughs> we just been out and about, you know, riding like a course, oh, not course screw, steel venom, wild thing twice. Uh, oh. I love wild thing, but don't even get me started on that. Uh, but there, there's a lot, like a lot of stuff closed today too, like uh, Excalibur is closed, which is really disappointing. <laughs> like I don't know how I feel about that, but. Uh, Mad Mouse is also closed, which kind of sucks because I can't make fun of it. And uh, <laughs> it's been a it's, a, it's it's an okay opening day. Like there's been better opening days, I feel like. But I'm so I'm so glad to be here. You know, it's my home park. I love it. Love it every time. There you go. <laughs> okay, uh, hold the phone, boys. Hold the phone. I I I believe I saw Mad Mouse running. And if I was if, I, if I'm wrong, then I'm really tired. But uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ride uh, Mad Mouse real quick. And remember, the only reason why I'm doing this is because this guy had no credit for this guy. He, he needs some Mad Mouse credit, okay? And we're gonna <laughs> give it to him, even though he's probably gonna hate it, just like me. But probably, <laughs> it'll be worth it though. Gotta get the credit. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it, but um, <laughs> I mean, he only has like what, like sub twenty credits, or I think yeah, I think I'm actually like twenty five. 26? 20, yeah, 26. So like, you know, like just well below my threshold. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's try to have fun on Mad Mouse. I'll tell you all about it once we get off. Hopefully I don't, you know, lose myself. I can't believe I just ditched Renegade to ride Mad Mouse. That, this doesn't feel right. David, what are your expectations for this ride? 
You know, like when you're in a dream and you're falling and then you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm glad I'm awake. This one's gonna put me to sleep. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a bad dream for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Is what I should have said. I should be in bed. But temptations of trouble on my tongue. Troubles yet to come. One zip. Bad for me. One hit. Bad for me. One kiss. Bad for me. But I give in so easily. And no thank you is how it should have gone. I should stay strong. Okay, so I think most of you know my opinion on Mad Mouse, so I won't, I'll spare you guys of me just ranting about this, but David, what did you think about that? Uh, well, I'd say it has more trims than like a barber chair sees in a day, and it uh, is also probably more disappointing than a broke family on Christmas Day. <laughs> there you have it! Yep, we just wrote Sad Mouse! <laughs> Sad Mouse. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, it was just... I don't know, it's like a bunch of U-turns. I could get that in my car in the parking lot. Yeah, I know, right? It's all good. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Not, I don't know for a fact, after riding this for the first time this season, I never want to ride it again, you know? <laughs> Just don't ride this thing. Just skip it. I'm serious. <laughs> You're not missing out on anything. Just go to Renegade. Hello there. Alright, so we just finished our last rides of the night on Renegade. Well, I shouldn't say the night because it's like 5 o'clock right now, but... <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like in the middle of like afternoon. Yeah, hopefully Valley Fair's hours extend to at least like 7 in the, in the future. I, I think they are doing that, but... I miss the days when it was open from like 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. That way you yeah. get like all the night rides and stuff like that, but anyways... Night rides would be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, Re Re Renegade was running pretty good today. I definitely see it on its better days and also its worst days, so it's pretty good, you know? And Wild Thing, I'm so proud of that thing, you know? It's, it's, it's so good this year. I know, it's like the second favorite of the park. It beats Excalibur for me. You, you guys should make fun of me in the comments section if all you want, but I'm sticking to my opinion for this year, right? <laughs> all right, David, what do you think about today? Day? Pretty good day, can't complain. It was like cloudy to start out, sun came out afterwards, yes. and the rides were pretty good. The fast lane came in handy today for sure. Honestly, just kind of like almost walked on half the rides, really nice. The lines are going up like an hour plus, so being able to just ride them out was really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, so that'll, that'll do it for me uh, here at uh, Valley Fair. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you next time on North Star Coasters.